case. Okay, cool. Oh yes, today's the day that we're going to be setting up our bikes for our next adventure. So we've already done some preparation on these bikes already. What we've already done to this one is change the engine after a massive mission trying to diagnose and repair the old engine. Ah! Gently pull it off. Okay. Oh, something's fallen. And all of that culminated in us buying a new one on eBay, which is here and is working really well. We have also fitted a bash plate to this one. We have fitted hand guards. And on the handlebars, we've got a quad lock phone mount, which has been connected to the battery. So it actually wirelessly charges our phones on the go which is absolutely awesome. And we've got a quad lock camera mount here as well. And that'll be my handlebar camera. I'll be showing you guys the camera gear a little bit later. Lavi has the same stuff on her bike as well. We've also got a mount for our drone controller because now that Lavi's not sitting on the back of the bike, there's no one to control the drone. So I basically have to set it to follow us, put it here, and then I can sort of monitor to make sure that we're kind of still in shot as we're going along. So. I guess we'll see how that goes. And of course we changed actually my whole handlebars to raise them up a bit so that they're basically the same like Lavi's ones, the same like the original Van Van ones. On Lavi's bike, we've got pretty much the same. You've got the quad lock mounts on here and Lavi also has a bash plate, which is a little bit of a smaller one made by a British company called Kymark Engineering. So I'm pretty happy with all of this setup. This is looking really good, but there's still one more modification I wanna make and that is the wing mirrors so come and check this out so the awesome guys at double take mirrors actually sent us a kit of new mirrors each it's called the dual sport mirror kit and it pivots when it's hit it's easy to fold and remove it's got a lifetime warranty and they're circular as well which i think gives it a really nice retro classic design the company is actually a small company based in colorado in the us these look absolutely amazing so let's give them a go was easy we didn't really prep how to put these in but they look really simple so it should be okay you say that hey <laughs> yeah it should be okay or should we watch the installation instruction video ah we don't need a video <laughs> that form goes here how do you do this then do you think you do it like that i think it's just an allen key on the top isn't it yeah we just bought a new allen key set <laughs> look at this guys this is more allen keys than we took on our entire trip around the world. This is that one. There you go. Yeah, that's on. Cool. No way, it's that easy. Whoa. <laughs> no way, is that it? Looks like it, yes. That is really, really cool. And everything without the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got four of those to install. Let's get to it. What do you think? Oh, it's rubbish. What do you want to say? Okay. Action. Hello. Ta-da! Look at these babies. They look super, super awesome. I'm really happy with those. And I just found some paperwork that they sent. Actually, this is a brand new design and it was only released on May the 1st and it includes their new in-house arm and ball system and it talks about the features and benefits of this new system like the fact that it's a larger diameter ball with an aluminium core that won't crush it won't spin it's a larger size and apparently it is like 
massively, massively better than the old system. I think they're super awesome and I can't wait to try them out. This is our super awesome new Moscow Motor back pannier. Backcountry 40 liters and it can be at the same time a backpack as well, which is really cool. Anyway, I show you what is inside my pannier. So we have our super nice, not very insulated and very old sleeping bags. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so like excited to see how they go here again in England or if we have to invest in new ones. Then what is really cool, we actually got a new tent from Lone Rider. So I'm super excited to try that out. And then, as you know, our climate double sleeping mattress, which is absolutely the most comfortable bed ever. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, our Sea to Summit blow up pillows, they broke. So I went on Amazon and I just bought like the cheapest blow up pillows I could find. They are like 10 pounds. So I'm super excited to try them out and see how they are compared to our old sleeping pillows. So yeah, this is pretty much everything I have in my back pannier because I won't take this box with me, of course. And anyway, this box it's not even attached very properly anymore. <laughs> I will just take it off and then I will see how I can fix on this bag because I haven't tried it before actually. The guys at Moscow Moto also sent us these awesome little tank bags. They're a little bit smaller than the one we had on Bumblebee, but they still have a space to carry 1.5 liters of water. So it comes with a hydration bladder. So that's gonna be really cool because it means that we won't have to carry the water on our backs the whole day. And then it has a little pocket in the front here. Actually, it has like a lot of pockets, but it's got all this space for like charging stuff and any bits and bobs. So I'm gonna fit that one to the front. Does it go that way around? Yes. Yeah. Ho ho, look at that. So I think something like that, <laughs> but okay. I don't know. So Moscow Moto provided these like ratchet straps. So I don't exactly know what we do, but I guess we're gonna try to put them around. I think we have to attach possibly one side to a pole, no? Already. And then the other side goes around, doesn't it? Like that. Should you look up a video? Yes. Right, okay. This side. This side you can take off apparently. Just like this. Okay, yes. I think it's better to put it here probably because then it can't, then it's like. Go sideways, yeah? This hook. Ah, okay. Yeah, I could try the hook. So maybe we can just go put the loop on the hook. Okay. Yeah? yeah. And then like that. Okay. Okay, let's try. So I'm putting this one on now, like that. Yeah. Yep. Through here. And then this side through here. Yeah. Putting <laughs> there. And then how's this go? Just, just in like that. Yeah. And then I just pull. No yeah. way. I think that's it. And then that like that. Mm -hmm. And then this like this. Yeah. Whoa. That's it. Yay! So there we have one Moscow Moto backcountry 40 litre. Yes. And <laughs> One beautiful little tank bag. I think that looks so cool. I can't wait to get this adventure started. Right, let's go get mine. <laughs> Check out what I got. Look at this awesome color. It's like a sandy desert color. Essentially, it's the same, the 40 liter backcountry panniers and this little beautiful little tank bag. And let me show you what I'm gonna be putting inside. <laughs> I've got uh, all the cooking equipment, our new drone. We just bought ourselves a secondhand Mavic Air 2 because as you know from the previous series, both Pinky and the Brain are deceased, RIP. And actually we just sold them on Marketplace 
for 60 pounds. I'll also be carrying the rest of the camera equipment, but we're currently filming with that. We've got an upgraded toolkit since the round the world trip. We've got tire levers because we no longer have tubeless tires like our beloved Bumblebee. We've got a socket set. We've got the Allen keys. What is this? Cable ties. Oh, and we've also got this little side stand which goes underneath the bike because these bikes don't have a center stand. When you want to do a repair with them, like changing a tire, you can use the side stand on one side and then this on the other side. So it basically acts like a center stand. And I'm going to be carrying all of the food as well. And we've also got a clothes bag each. Hoopla. All right, let's fit it on. We know <laughs> now how that works. <laughs> <laughs> Strap experts. Strap experts. Wait, no, what? Oh. <laughs> Wait, how do you get this off? Oh no, mine's upside down oh, again. Oh no! <laughs> Mine one not. <laughs> It looks so cool! So now I'm going to be showing you guys the camera setup that we're going to be taking on our adventure. So of course, we've got the classic helmet cam on the front. Now the GoPro 10 that we used on the previous trip, that one is going to be put on Lavi's helmet and I have been upgraded to a GoPro 11. So it's going to be my first time filming with a GoPro 11. So I'm super excited to see how the quality is. So for my handlebars, I'm going to be using a Panox V2. So after testing this camera out, we actually decided to change this to a GoPro 8. Sorry, Panox. Let's move on. We're also going to be taking with us our trusty DSLR so that we can take some awesome pictures along the way. But we also have with that a 300mm lens. And that means I can get some close ups, maybe if we see some wildlife or whatever. This is a really cool lens and makes for a really cinematic shot. So I get all the old junk. <laughs> but I mean, this camera has seen a lot and I will use it on my helmet now. So I'm a little bit nervous because normally I was just sitting behind Oli and you know, I was just talking a little bit, but I never had actually a camera on the chin. So it will be a completely new experience for me. And then on the handlebar here, I will use the GoPro 360 Max. This GoPro, I'm sure you know it, it was always on the back pole. So I have a very good relationship to this GoPro anyway. I'm really happy that this will be here on top. Can you get the cord lock? Yay! Yes, first time. <laughs> so I will have my own handlebar camera here and then I will have my chin mounted camera here on my helmet. And I think that's pretty cool. That means now, instead of the usual three camera angles, We've got four camera angles for the next journey. Guys, we have too many cameras because we have even this camera we are filming with right now, which is an Osmo action camera. Thanks, Mark. This is going to be our vlogging camera. We're always going to keep that separate so that when we jump off the bikes, we can just grab this camera and show you guys around. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus the drone, seven cameras. Is this going to be a nightmare for editing? <laughs> <laughs> but it will be super exciting and I can't wait to see how this new setup is going to be. The next step for us is to take all of this gear and go on a bit of a test ride. But that's going to be coming up in the next episode. Exactly. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time.